Hello and Assalamualaikum. This is an example of Simpsons 3-8 rule when it is used together with Simpsons 1-3rd rule. So most of the time we do this when uh, we have odd number of uh, segments uh, which might need a combination of these two rules. So the question is the same uh, but uh, it is determined that the number of segments is uh, 5. Since we have 5 segments, so the size of each segment is 0 0.8 minus 0 divided by 5, so we have equally spaced segments. So by the figure on the left, we can see that uh, from A equal to 0 to B equal to 0 0.8, we have the equally sized uh, segments. So the size of each segment is 0 0.16. Uh, it means that we have uh, 6 points uh, at x equal to node until x1, x2, x3, x4 and x5. So we calculate all the value of the function at each point of course by substituting uh, the value of x into the uh, original function given. So remind that Simpsons 1 third rule and Simpsons 3 8 rule must have minimum number of segment 2 and 3 respectively. So what we do is the first the first two segment will be approximated using the Simpsons 1 third rule and the rest of the segments which is three segments will be approximated using Simpsons 3 8 rule. Let's start by solving the first two segments. So since we are solving the first two segments using the Simpsons wanted rule, so let's recall the formula and the size of the interval h. So we can calculate uh, the size of the h. So we uh, use the a equal to 0 and b equal to 0 0.32. Take note, we have calculated before h equal to 0 0.16 in the previous slide. And we can be, the Simpsons wanted formula can be rewritten like this. We substitute the value and we will get 0 0.380324. So this value is the integral only for the first two segments. Okay. And it has been approximated using the Simpsons wanted rule single application. So the last three segments will be solved using the Simpsons 3 8 rule. This is the formula. And since we solved the Simpsons 3 8 rule not from the beginning but from the last three segments, so we readjust the value of a equal to 0 0.32, which is the starting point of. Uh, where we're going to solve using the 3H rule and the end point B is 0 0.8 You can recheck the size of H by substituting the value of A and B into the formula of H above This one and you should get the same value of 0 0.16 And then you can rewrite the formula of 3H rule uh, with the right uh, fx2, fx3 and so forth. And then you substitute the value that you have uh, evaluated before. Make sure you substitute the right one. And you get the answer of the integral for the last three segments which is 1.264754. This one is obtained by solving it using the Simpsons 3.8 rule. We have already evaluated the integral at the two sets of segments, which can be seen in the figure. The first set is the first two segments, and the second set is the last three segments, which we solve using two different rules. So the first segment uh, I use that subscript uh, i, which is the integral, from 0 to 0 0.32, referring to the first two segments. 
So the value of the integral on that two segments is 0 0.380324. And the second segment, okay, 1.264754. So the total integral is simply the addition of these two integrals, which we will have 1.645078. So this is the approximated integral for this particular problem using the combination of Simpson's 3-8 rule and Simpson's 1-3rd rule. But recalling that um, the Simpson's 1-3rd rule, especially the multiple application, is already efficient. So actually we don't really need Simpson's 3-8 rule unless if we have this kind of number of segments, uh, the odd numbers, uh, so the three segments which we can pull together we solve it using the Simpson's 3-8 rule and the rest we solve using the Simpson's 1-3 rule. The true error is 0 0.005454 which concluded a very small percentage true error 0.28%. That's all. Thank you very much.